Hey guys, and welcome back to another Code in Exiles video. Today we are in the jungle, just north of the Eye That Never Closes, building a Temple to Yug. This video was suggested by Devin Harrop as a Dafari temple. However, seeing as Dafari worship Yug Sothoth, I thought I could combine the two and create a Temple to Yug. If you've been a fan of the channel for a while, you may remember my previous Yug Temple build. That was probably my second or third build on Conan Exiles, and I probably had about 10 hours in the game, if that. And to be perfectly honest, it's not the best, and could easily be improved quite a bit. Therefore, we're going to be having another try at the Yogg Temple today, along with building temples to all the other gods in the future, aside from Jebel Sug, seeing as I'm pretty happy with that temple build. The basic idea behind this temple is as a ritual site, where Defari cannibals can bring back captured exiles to imprison and eventually sacrifice to their god. Seeing as this is a Wednesday build, we will of course be using mods. However, the mods will only really be seen in decoration, mainly in lighting. The list of mods I use are on screen now, though this entire build is possible to create without any mods at all, only having to swap out a few small lighting and decoration features for the vanilla ones. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, we will start off with our base plate. Using stone foundations, we're going to build a foundation base that will become slightly wider until it tapers down at the top to a circular base, which will hold a tower. You can see the rough form of the foundations from the blueprint on screen now, which of course also shows you the rough wall layout, though the interior walls will be door frames, as you will see later on. Next we will start on the tower. The tower is a bit different from the usual, with external stairs going up to the top of the tower, which extends out to a two-tier circle. The interior walls of the tower itself are made from door frames, giving the tower more of a almost scaffolding type look, whilst allowing the light within to spill out and give the temple a little bit more presence in the jungle. Building the stairs up with the sloped and inverted sloped sides isn't terribly easy, but it's not super difficult either, so you should really be able to get the hang of it quite quickly. For the walls, stairs, ceilings, etc, I'm using frontier pieces as you can probably tell, as they suit the area and the theme of this build quite well. I built the ceilings out on top of the tower and enclosed it with fence pieces. This will later become the sacrifice platform. Next, for the walls. Firstly, I enclosed the perimeter of the foundations with walls, building them two tiles high, and building the interior walls from door frames, making those three tiles high.
next for the roof. I had initially intended to create a fairly standard sloped roof over the temple, however it turned out not to work as intended due to the presence of wedge foundations, which do mess up the clipping of most roof pieces due to the amount of space they take up. Therefore I had to build the interior walls one tile higher, having to use regular wall pieces to patch up any of the gaps in the roof. I used tiled insulated wooden roof pieces, as they have a nice look of age and decay to them that suits this build quite well. I then built a support system over the middle of the build with small connector pieces of wedge and regular ceiling pieces every two blocks above the gap in the ceiling to support the roof later on. I connected these supports together in the centre with regular ceiling pieces, then filling the gaps on the sides between the exterior roof pieces and interior walls. I then finally placed a line of regular tiled rooftop pieces on the centre of the support platform, adding an end piece at the front sloping down to the small roof above the entranceway I'd placed earlier. It's a weird and complicated design, I'm not going to lie, but it does work quite well considering the presence of open air features such as the scaffold style tower. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching the build, the temple is lit with plague torches from the Age of Conquest mod, which allows for a very sinister looking green light. The temple itself is packed with tiny prison cells, where captive exiles are held for sacrifice. The sides of the build have various benches where Defaris can sit and pray to Yogg, or to watch the sacrifice occurring.
In the centre of the main temple room is the abyss to Yog and a campfire, where sacrificed and butchered prisoners are cooked and fed to the Defari cannibals under the watchful eye of Yog sothoth The abyss itself has been decorated with a couple of extra skull trees and a hanging cage to make it look a bit more imposing. Heading into the bottom of the tower, this is where the valuables of prisoners and other miscellaneous items are stored. The tower holds a complex pattern of plague torches, which allow the vile green light to spill out of the tower and soak the nearby environment. Heading up to the top of the tower, this is where the prisoners are killed under the watch of Yogg, before being carried back down to the main temple floor for cooking and consumption. And there we have it, a temple to yogg sothoth in the jungle, just north of the eye that never closes. Thanks for watching, and again thanks to Devin for suggesting this build. It was nice to redo one of my first Conan builds and improve on what I think was lacking from the initial design. If you've enjoyed this video leave a like, and let me know in the comments below if you have any future suggestions for builds. We have plenty to get through at the moment, but more are always welcome. Also a question, how would you guys feel about lore videos for Conan? Not necessarily all the time, they wouldn't replace the build videos by any means, but maybe some occasional lore videos about the different races, gods, etc. Let me know in the comments below, it's just kind of a side thought. Don't forget to join the fun on our Discord through the link in the description, and if you'd like to support the future of this channel, the link to my Patreon is also in the description below, with various tiers of support that offer benefits from special Discord roles, sneak peeks at new videos before anybody else, and your name at the end of each video. On that note, a thanks to our patrons, Sammy, Doomshade and Dawnfox. If you're new here, feel free to check out the channel. There are plenty more Code and Exiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see, subscribe and hit the notification bell to be the first to see the next video, and join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.